it takes them through the basic scalp and hair analysis. Um, it records that information for the client and obviously for the operator. Um, and it explains to the client why those things are important um, for themselves, for their hair, their hair care, their service, whatever recommendations we make. Um, it then shows them um, what I've done on this form is I've said this is the product we recommended but I've also included a, a line that says why. We're not just saying it because we need to make retail sales. We actually have a genuine reason for recommending that product depending on the analysis we've done. Um, in my salon I do you have a trichology camera that we use as well that records that information so they can see it for themselves on a computer screen. Um, this doesn't have to be done with that. That, although it's not really a gimmick, um, can be done without. Um, it also then goes on, particularly for uh, my senior stylists, um, recommendations on the services that they can perform for that client. So the client might come in for a hair and scalp analysis and a blow dry and no other service, but it means that we can talk to them about their next service and their ongoing treatment plan um, and how often they can expect to come back depending on their desired needs as well. And can you see this being used for a beauty salon or, or a day spa equally as well? I can and I think it should be. I think that if you are doing some form of skin analysis, hair analysis, style analysis, colour analysis, no matter what you're doing, you need to record the information by law. Um, you need to educate your client as to what you're doing and why you're doing it um, and then make those further re recommendations based on that. So at what stage um, during the process do you um, conduct this uh, diagnosis and analysis? Is it as soon as the client comes in? Is it, is it only for first time clients? We're, we're, take us through the process. Okay, so um, this can be done um, at any time, obviously this is a consultation tool, um, so it's done any time a client has decided she needs a change. So when a client calls my salon, one of the first questions they're asked is, are we maintaining your service or are we having a change this time? If they're having a change, then we allow an extra 10 minutes in their consultation time, so we expand it from 10 minutes to 20 minutes to discuss the, the required needs and changes and then this form will be brought in to help assess their needs and what their changes might do and what commitment they need to make in regard to their service. And so while the client's sitting in your chair, um, your stylist has this on a clipboard and they're filling in the answer, asking the questions and filling in the answers. Um, not so much asking the questions, actually performing the analysis explaining what we're looking at and why we're looking at it and what that information then tells us about their hair and how we use that information um, to create a prescription or a recommendation for their needs. So if a client who um, is unemployed um, and um, hasn't had their hair done for six months and never had their hair done for six months then comes in and says I want to be bleach blonde but I can't come back every month we're obviously going to say, well, look, this requires a commitment. You need to come back every three to four weeks. These are the things you need to do in hair care. Can you commit to this? Here it is in paper. Take it home and think about it because we're not going to waste three hours of salon time doing someone's hair um, if they can't to make that long-term commitment to what we're trying to create for them. Um, um, if they can, we do. Okay. So... What effect has this had on your business? Um, it makes our clients think that we're more professional than the other salons in the area because we explain in every detail what we're doing as we go along. So even at the base, and it's, we're using this shampoo because, and we're using this conditioner because, and we're styling your hair with this product because, and this is why we're using this brush, and it's education, education, education. They don't get that at the other local salons. They just go in, they have their hair done, there's no conversation, very little consultation. Um, they see us as more professional in the long run. 
And and so it, it's really positioning you as an expert in the business, isn't it? It is, and that's exactly what it's doing. And has it had an, an effect on um, your uh, rebooking rate, for example? It um, allows us to actually rebook ahead more than one appointment with a client. They don't just rebook at the end of their appointment for their next service. We're actually rebooking them during their service for maybe one or two services ahead. And it's also had an effect on our retail as well because um, when we recommended these things, we actually package it up and say, now your services will cost this, this and this with your retail. And they it's almost like they're getting the retail as a bonus. So can you hold up that um, consultation document and, and just take us through, open it up and show us what's inside? Yep. So obviously you have your salon information on the front um, because once they've understood the document, they need to know where to find you in all the places. Um, we have a brief outline of the home care prescription and what the different terms mean in just layman terms so that client can understand, but stylists are encouraged to explain these things too. Those um, pieces of information are then recorded in these very simple boxes. Um, so um, texture here, um, it's explained that texture is the measurement of the actual diameter of the individual hair strand. It doesn't need to say any more than that. It explains it to the operator and to the client, and then we tell them what their hair texture is. Um, we would explain to them why that was important to us um, for the services they're requiring or why it's important to them for their styling. So we go through texture, density, elasticity, porosity, condition, movement, scalp and hair growth patterns. This is what every hairstylist learns when they go to college or TAFE. The first thing they learn is basics. Um, but the, the client doesn't know that. The client thinks this is advanced stuff. Um, we also then have our product um, suggestions. So every client needs shampoo. Every client needs a conditioner. Um, some clients may need hair mask treatments, leave-in moisturisers. Um, my styling products I divide into what we call wet styling and dry styling products. Some things obviously cross over. And then any nourishing products or argan oil obviously is really popular now. Um, um, but we also say why we're recommending that particular product. Not just we're recommending it, but why we take that information from our analysis. On the back here, because the clients that usually come in and have this done are not necessarily booked for a colour or anything straight away. We're trying to get them to come in for a consultation or blow dry first. Um, we then also make further recommendations. So we talk about their haircut and their styling needs and how often they need to maintain it. We talk about their hair colour, how often they might need to come back for different hair colouring services, whether they have base colour or foiling, whatever. Um, do they need perming, straightening, keratin treatments? Um, these are just recommendations to deal with issues that they're having with their hair and also treatments. Always got to recommend treatments. Everyone gets because it's, it's a, such a simple service that gets you to connect with your client on a different level than those other services do. Um, and that's simply it. There is a section on the back. Um, I usually ask my stylist to hand this to the receptionist. The receptionist is then supposed to go through the stylist appointments and find suitable appointments to meet the needs of the client in advance of the client being farewelled. These are the times that we can fit you in, which one would suit you better. So the appointment's already pre-empted in their head. It's not, do you want an appointment? This, this is when you can have an appointment. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. You've, yeah. learnt, you've learnt that well. Yes. And what effect has it had on your retail sales? Because you're recommending products, you're prescribing products, so what effect has it had? Um, the client doesn't seem to react as if they're being sold to. It is simply a recommendation and they are often actually beating us to the punch and actually where is that product, can I have it? Which is good. So the stylists feel better about that as well. They don't feel like they're, they're selling up. So, 
Well, you've made that document available as a template on the members' uh, website. Very generous of you. Thank you for that. I'm sure lots of our members are already downloading it and uh, modifying it for their own salons. In How long since you've started using that process? Um, we had a smaller, similar version I've been using for two years. This is an upgraded version, and I upgraded it because we are running a Pay It Forward program, and this meets the need for our Pay It Forward program for our one-on-one -on -one marketing. And so you've had this in place for a couple of months, have you? No, no, probably about three weeks. Okay. 